Hey, what's up everybody? This is Justin Robleski with High Point Real Estate Group. If this is your first time to my channel, uh, please do me a quick favor, click on that like button, give me a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell so you're notified every time a new video comes out. I'm posting new videos at least weekly at this point and trying to even get some more in. But in this video, I am gonna tell you all about Cuyahoga Falls. I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, more informal this time uh, usually I'm kind of sitting in my office with a green screen trying to give people more details. Uh, don't mind the shaky camera. I'm literally walking up and down a street here to uh, show you what's available and uh, show you one of the neighborhoods I'm in. So it's obviously a little shaky with me walking. Um, but sit tight and I'm going to show you all about Cuyahoga Falls and give you some ideas what it's all about. Today I'm actually out dealing with something for a client and I'm out in the Cuyahoga Falls area and I wanted to tell you some great things about the Cuyahoga Falls area. So if you want to sit tight, I'll explain uh, what the neighborhoods are like, kind of what the pricing is like, um, <clears throat> what uh, you know, kind of restaurants you're going to eat at, events, things like that. Uh, but in general, what I really like about Cuyahoga Falls is you have a pretty quiet neighborhood for the most part. So there's a lot of things to do in the area, but at the same time, it's relatively quiet. So I'll kind of show you, if you look behind me here, you're gonna see just kind of like a, a nice neighborhood. Most neighborhoods are quiet. Uh, there's no filtering on this, so you're gonna see cars driving by. So uh, just ignore those. <laughs> but a lot of the neighborhoods are very peaceful like this. You're just gonna kind of have like family oriented neighborhoods. Uh, a lot of good neighborhoods that families seem to like to move into. So you have a wide array of things to where you can go to neighborhoods to where you don't have craziness. It's not like you're a downtown city type neighborhoods. It's just more like your quiet family type neighborhoods, if that helps at all. Um, <clears throat> but actually, uh, just because I don't want to show the address of the house I'm at, just for privacy reasons. Um, but I'm actually dealing with a client's house right in front of me on the other side of the camera. But uh, What's also nice about these neighborhoods is that depending on where you want to be, sorry if my hand's in the way of the camera sometimes, uh, depending on where you want to be, there's a very wide price range you can work with. So <clears throat> like today I have clients that are looking at a price point of $80,000. So I mean, you're going to get a smaller house for $80,000, obviously. Um, it's a nice house, um, but it's it's pretty small. I think it's like 670 square feet or something along those lines. So nothing big at all. <clears throat> but then you have your middle of the range to where you can get house like in the 150 range, maybe 160, 170 right now in this market. But <clears throat> in those houses, I mean, you're getting fully finished houses that are anywhere from, you know, 1,100 square feet up to 15, 1,600 square feet, depending on where at in Cuyahoga Falls, or Cuyahoga Falls you are. Um, so you'll see a lot of options there. And then, of course, with almost any neighborhood, you start getting to the point to where you can get in like to the, you know, 200,000, 250,000, and even up into the five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand. Um, those really high price points, you won't see as much in these areas. Um, so that's, that's not as common as a lot of other ones are. Um, but, uh, they are out there. So, I mean, if you're looking for, you know, <clears throat> I had a client the other day that was looking at a $350,000 house in the area. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's lots of options out there and everything you can imagine. So about the area itself, besides the whole, uh, living in the uh, neighborhood situation i'm just kind of taking a walk down the street so you can see everything that's available here and get an idea we'll kind of go around <clears throat> you can actually see everything behind me here just kind of get an idea of what the homes are but um so essentially it comes down to um what you can do in the area sorry i'm, I'm trying to do this on my phone here and I have text messages popping up and stuff. I'm just trying to ignore everybody. <laughs> um, but I'll get back to them shortly. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, what's nice about Cuyahoga Falls, like uh, activity-wise, is right in downtown Cuyahoga Falls, they have lots of different festivals you can do. Um, so they also they have what's called the Italian Festival, to where you know, they celebrate Italian heritage. Um, they have some great food. If you guys are like Italian sausages, that's, those are available and those are fantastic. Um, Another thing they have is uh, huge celebrations for like the 4th of July. They have 
I've actually heard of a Hungar uh, Hungarian festival before. I've actually never been to it, uh, so I, I really can't tell you much about it, to be honest with you. But I have been to the Italian festival several times. Um, <clears throat> they have, like, different type carnivals. Uh, not, like giant, like, giant ride carnivals that you can go to. But they do have uh, games and things like that. There's a lot of music they do in the downtown area, especially during the um, summer. So they do a lot having to do with music and live bands, things like that. They have art festivals and all sorts of different stuff. Uh, don't mind me looking away sometimes. I just don't want to run into the mailboxes I'm walking down the street. Um, but that will turn around. What the heck? <laughs> but so there's just there's so much to do in the area. Um, and it's it's not far away from areas that like it what's nice about it is there's a lot of stuff downtown in the area where it's at just because it's a wide open area if you go right into the downtown area but people come in from areas like moreau falls like ironically <coughs> sorry about the coughing say my allergies are acting up but ironically i'm right next to monroe falls like the next street over is monroe falls so a lot of people come from monroe falls to um cuyahoga falls to you know do these festivals you got um, Stowe, which is right next to here. So a lot of people come from Stowe. Um, you also have uh, Hudson, which is the next city over. You have Akron. That's not too far away either. So a lot of people come from the Akron area. And then you even have Canton, which is actually roughly about a half hour or so. Maybe uh, depending on where you're at in Canton, um, got a half hour or so. So you have some really big areas that can actually feed into the Cuyahoga Falls area. That's why you see a lot of people here. Um, there are colleges close by. So you have uh, Kent State University, which is actually in Kent. Kent would be right next to Stowe, um, which is right by here, in, uh, by Cuyahoga Falls. But a lot of college stuff. So if you're interested in like the nightlife scene, there's a lot of options to go for nightlife. Um, but like the festivals and stuff in downtown would be more geared towards families. Um, there are a lot of things that are geared towards like, you know, your young adults or single people or just couples, things like that. Um, but there are a lot of events that are geared towards family also. So um, the other thing is, is when it comes to food, <clears throat> not only do you have great food at the festivals, but they have really good restaurants. So one of my favorite restaurants in the area is called Hibachi Japan. So a lot of uh, people have heard about it. If you don't know Hibachi style d dinner it is, it's the one to where they literally, the chef comes out, they throw all the um, food on a cooktop and they actually cook all your food right in front of you. So usually you have like your rice they'll cook in front of you. They do vegetables. A lot of places will actually um, add noodles to them. Um, and then you can pick like a chicken, steak, shrimp, things like that. And then a lot of these hibachi places will also serve sushi. So if you're a fan of that, because it's a Japanese place, if you're a fan of sushi, which I am honestly, and a lot of members of my family are, uh, we enjoy some good sushi as well. But Hibachi Japan is definitely our favorite one in the area. Uh, but besides that, there's some really good breakfast places by. Uh, we've had some good experience going to uh, different restaurants that here it's, what I like about them is they're not like your national chains. So you have some decent mom and pop ones that are really good. Um, and you're not, and you can get relatively cheap. So you don't have to spend a ridiculous amount of money. Like, you know, I have a family of five and let's be honest, some places you go to a family of five, you can just plan on spending 100 to $150 in dinner pretty easily. But in a lot of the places around here, you can get away with spending 50, 60, maybe 70 bucks for dinner instead. Um, oh, I wanna apologize here. I actually have my AirPods on and it's getting a little windy. So if it's a little windy in the video, I apologize ahead of time. I can't really control that, but hopefully the AirPods are blocking off the wind for us. Um, but just great food in general. If you like to do um, any sort of outdoor activities, there are a lot of parks nearby. So if you're looking to just kind of get out and about and you don't want to stay cooped up in the house and you don't necessarily want to be you know, with everybody and at festivals or things like that, you do have the park options as well. So that's always a bonus. Um, I'm trying to think what else you can do about here. But yeah, I mean, that kind of sums it up. I mean, I can go into a lot more about this you know, I can also do a you know, 45 minute video and but, uh, let's be real, you're not going to watch a 45 minute video. So it's really not gonna matter. So I'm just kind of giving me like the brief the details of it. But again, the general idea of uh, Cuyahoga Falls, 
you can get a nice house for a decent price point. Uh, there's quite a bit to do here. A lot of activities for pretty much all age ranges, all uh, families, you know, big families, individuals, couples, whatever. Um, decent amount of jobs in the area. There's a decent amount of companies nearby. Um, shopping's really good. So there's a lot of little shops to go to. Not really, um, think like your big shops, not like, not really like Walmart type stuff, but, uh, more or less like your mom and uh, pop places or your individual boutique places. You'll see a lot more common in this area. Um, so I hope that helps you guys explains a little bit more about Cuyahoga Falls. Um, but <clears throat> just like I mentioned earlier, if there's anything I can do for you, help you anything with your real estate needs, if you're looking to buy, sell, invest, do anything with real estate at all, reach out to me. You can call me, text message me, email me, do whatever works good for you. I want to reach out on Facebook. I've had many clients reach out on Facebook to me. Perfectly fine. Whatever works good for you. Now, obviously, you see my name, number, email address. I absolutely love what I do. I, I take clients all the day, all day from uh, YouTube here. A lot of clients reach out to me, love the videos, and I gain new clients constantly, and I love helping new clients. It's, it's a fun experience for me. Love meeting new people. Love finding new friends. Um, but I'll close it up here. Like I said, I hope this helped you guys out. I gave you an idea of how everything goes around here in Cuyahoga Falls a little bit in a short video. Um, if you can do me a favor, like this video, um, subscribe to it, so, and then click the little bell to make sure you get alerted to all the new videos I come out with. Uh, throw me a comment. Tell me what you like about Cuyahoga Falls if you're familiar with the area. All right. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video.